let's take a look at the Seek Compact. As you can tell, it's very, very small and more compact than the FLIR 1. Also, there's no battery that needs to be charged as this uses your phone's battery to power it. You can also see that the focus is manual on the Seek Compact versus the automatic focus on the FLIR 1. Additionally, the Seat Compact comes with an all-weather carrying case, which is a nice feature and something that the FLIR 1 does not come with. Overall, a high quality package. Let's look at the FLIR 1. It's the hard carrying case, as well as a charging cable, and then you can see the camera and the instructions that come with it as well. As you can tell, this camera, the FLIR 1, is larger than the Seat Compact. It does have its own battery that has to be charged and operates independently of your phone. And additionally, you can see the visible light camera in addition to the thermal imaging camera. This is the Seek Compact in a completely dark garage with a recently run car. We have highest and lowest temperature markers currently on. And as you can see as we scroll, you'll see the circuit box in the back of the garage, as well as the motor for the garage door. This is the FLIR 1 with MSX enabled in a fully dark garage. Here you can see a recently run car. The electrical box in the back corner. And you can also see the garage door opener as well. While the image is slightly more blurry than the Seek, you can see that it adjusts and focuses much quicker. And we also have only the one temperature sensor. This is the FLIR 1 with MSX enabled and a light on in a garage with a recently run car. You can see the logo from the car more clearly, as well as the outline. You can see the electrical junction box in the back, as well as the image overlay. And you can also see the garage door opener and the garage door in the back. And you can see the difference that the MSX image overlay makes combined with the thermal image camera. Here we have the Seek Compact looking at a stove which is heating up along with hottest and coldest temperature markers. This is also the black and white color palette. You can also see the Seek's higher temperature rating as it's rated over 600 degrees Fahrenheit unlike the Flare one. Here we have the FLIR 1 looking at a stove as the temperature indicator turned on. You can see that the image is clearer than the Seek because of the MSX overlay 